What up peeps, today I want to show you how I changed my GoTrax tires from the standard ones to honeycomb airless ones from a third party I got on Amazon which made my scooter a million times better by going faster, smoother and having longer battery life. My first tip for you is gonna be to have all your tools ready because I made the mistake of thinking I could get by with subpar tools and it ended up taking me six hours because I could not get the tire on with brute force as you can see in this little um, sped up video of me. While we watch me struggle over here, I wanna take the opportunity to say if you are looking at this and you're already thinking, man, this looks like a lot of work. I don't know if this is worth it. Let me tell you. Get the right tools and it'll totally be worth it because the scooter will be so much faster, so much easier to ride and you never have to pump your tires. So with that said, let's get to it. These are the main tools you will need but in addition to these, you will need an Allen set of tools that has the star ending and also large crowbar or pry bar and zip ties if you can. Also make sure you have a large bucket for boiling water to submerge the tires and make them softer. If you don't have all these tools, get them. Um, I would not recommend doing this without them. As you, as you saw before, it took me forever and uh, eventually I was able to manage with brute force, but I would not recommend doing it this way. I'll put an Amazon link in the description for the tire that I used so you can get the same one. As you can see, it doesn't say that it fits the GXL, but lucky for you, I did my research and figured out that all the measurements were the same and it ended up actually fitting really nicely. So you can use that one instead of the one that GoTrax sells. It's a little bit cheaper, uh, it glows in the dark, so that's kind of cool. Although I will say that for it to get this bright, it has to be exposed to bright sunlight and then move to a dark room, which is unlikely to happen naturally. So don't expect it to be actually really glowing a lot in the dark. I also found these little tools handy, although I would still recommend getting a larger crowbar or pry bar. Don't be fooled by how easy this project may seem by videos like this from GoTrax where they conveniently skip the part where the guy struggles to put the rim on. So this will be really challenging. I mean look at that. It, everyone that commented on the video said that that was way unrealistic. So just be prepared, have all your tools ready, and you will succeed. First, take out your Allen wrenches and take off the covers off of the front wheel. Next, you're going to use a wrench to take off the nut on the front wheel so that you can detach it from the scooter. The wheel is going to be on a little tight, but just pull it outward so that it comes loose. Alright, here comes the first hard part. Use your bike tools as well as your pliers to wrench off the, the tire off of the wheel. You might need some help, like my roommate here tried to help me, but it ended up taking us a long time to finally pull it off. After a few hours of hard work, I finally managed to get the screwdriver into the wheel well so that I could brute force my way into getting the tire off of the wheel. So once I had this, I just had to force it really hard and it finally came off. So this is what remained of my popped tire tube. No wonder I was getting really bad battery life. Once you finally get the old tire out, you may want to rest a little bit, take a break, congratulate yourself, uh, eat a cookie or something, whatever makes you feel better or accomplished. And here comes the hard part. You wanna, you're gonna wanna grease the rim so that it's easier to get the wheel onto it. Uh, and by the way, before you do this, you should submerge the new tire in boiling water for at least 10 minutes is what the instructions recommend so that it's really soft and pliable and so that you can fit it in there easier. So without greasing the rim or submerging the new tire in boiling water, uh, I think this would have been a lot harder. But here I go, uh, I'm going to be struggling and not going to be able to do this for quite a while so um, yeah don't let the same thing happen to you. This is the part where zip ties would come in handy because you can tie part of the wheel that's already attached and then keep forcing the rest of it without the first part slipping out and the pliers would also be extremely useful here. Two hours later. So after summoning all the brute force I could muster finally I got most of the tire on 
Now you just have to make sure that it is on evenly throughout the rim because uh, obviously it's going to be a little bit sideways since, since it requires a lot of brute force to put it on. So just make sure to move around the bike tool and the screwdriver uh, creating space, spacing out throughout the rim so that it can settle on evenly just lifting it up a little bit at a time throughout the wheel and uh, just visually make sure that it all looks even at the end so this is going to take a little while but uh, you have to make sure you do it otherwise you're going to be riding tilted all the time all right once you get it on with the first tire just repeat it with the second tire obviously and hopefully it's a little bit easier like it was for me the second time around and now you're ready to put them both back on into the scooter i think this part is pretty intuitive and gotrax actually has a pretty good video on how they did it so i'm not gonna go too much into detail with it but i would just say watch out that you make sure to put the right uh, fenders or whatever those are on the right side uh, on the correct side make sure they fit properly before you screw them back on and also make sure that you watch how to put back in the brake wire on the back wheel because that might be kind of challenging but just watch out for that and you should be fine 